So why do we remember those women and men who gave a portion or perhaps their entire careers to national service of the church, which means service to our Lord and service to each other? Well, we do so because of the sacrifice they made. Long hours, stressful conditions, the demand for constant creativity, and to receive not-for-profit or not-for-profit pay and compensation. We do so because of the impact they had on our lives through inspirational sermons, helpful counseling and support, their voice for peace and justice, their anointing and prayer, their non-anxious presence, and leading by example as they follow Jesus. We do so because of their commitment to helping others. So while we are here today to honor those servants in the Church of the Brethren who passed away since we last gathered a year ago in Cincinnati, I first want to recognize one such church worker who had the impact, who had impacted the lives of Church of the Brethren pastors and church workers, but who was not a Church of the Brethren member. For more than 25 years, Don Walter served as a director of pension and benefits for the Church of the Nazarene. For most of his tenure, he served as a convener of a small group of 30 denominational pension plans, including Brethren Pension Plan. And he made sure that all of our needs were well represented in the Church Benefits Association. He was a champion of and an advocate for pastors' health benefits and the housing allowance, a benefit that positively impacts the finances of active and retired pastors. He helped bring a resource to the Church of the Brethren and other denominations that was a DVD that allowed people to learn more about tax expertise for pastors. And then just in January, he gave me great insight and counsel about the pros and cons of trying to receive a grant to assist pastors with financial literacy. When I came back from Puerto Rico in February, he helped me figure out how to begin proceedings to offer Brethren Pension Plan to our Puerto Rican pastors because he had already done that work for his denomination. On occasion, he would also go to Washington to lobby Congress, uh, to lo lobby Capitol Hill, uh, to, to work on our benefit and for that of all of the ecumenical uh, denominations in the Church Benefits Association. He was a giant in the CBA and his work impacted the lives of many in this room. But he died unexpectedly in March, and thus it is fitting that we give thanks to God for the work of Don Walter, who worked on our behalf and those of other pastors throughout the nation. And so that we also give thanks then for the Church of the Brethren pastors, the church workers, district and camp staff members, agency employees such as Bethany Seminary's former president, Warren Groff, who passed away late last month, and some brethren community, retirement community workers for the impact that they had on others through their service to God. And as always, we also honor surviving spouses of pastors, including Ruby Schenk, the mother of moderator Danita Keister. And we do that out of tribute and understanding that surviving spouses also played an important role in the life of the church, even if it was seldom recognized. So let us pause now for a time of reflection as we remember the national leaders of the Church of the Brethren and those who serve the Church of the Brethren who left us this past year to be with God. Like a seed to sprout Flower the fruit that ripens the day Do not be afraid Like a seed to sprout Flower the fruit that ripens with age Do not be afraid Beauty Bittersweet to the depths you've known, the pain and grief they are all around as legacies unfold. 
Opportunities are emerging as the seasons keep on turning. Generation to generation, we become all I can see to sprout. Flower through the ripens with age. Do not be afraid. All I can see. Flower the fruit that ripens with age. Do not be afraid. The beauty Like a seed to sprout, flower the fruit that ripens with age. Do not be afraid. Oh, like a seed to sprout, flower the fruit that ripens with age. Falling down like the tears from your eyes. And the weight of the world is more than you can hide. That's when you find sometimes it takes a whole. So 
Pray with me. Oh God, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Oh God, we see these that have gone before us, these witnesses to faith in their life, these people who loved the church and who served so faithfully. May we walk this same path. May we run with patience the race before us. Having seen the faith and the results of that faith of all of those who have gone before. May we be those people who carry it forward in peace and love like you have called us to do as the church. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May our whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. <laughs>